This morning we have a very interesting image from Tesla Giga Berlin's Model Y which has a rare angle suggesting 4680 battery pack in the upcoming Model Y in Texas Giga Berlin. Welcome back dear friends, this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here the first time, please subscribe to our channel for breaking Tesla, Tesla news every day and ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage and give us thumbs up please, we greatly appreciate it. So look at this very rare angle of Tesla Model Y built at Giga Texas. This is Image has been taken yesterday. It has no floor and therefore needs to have a structural battery pack body and likely come with 4680 battery cells, which are more advanced, more energy dense, and have more range. Tesla Giga Texas Chronicle Joe Techmeyer, who has been documenting the construction of Tesla's Giga factory in Austin, and Joe drives 180 miles three times a, a week uh, both ways to document Tesla Giga. Giga Texas for all of us. So my respect to him. So yesterday shared this very unique angle of Tesla Model Y's body built at Giga Texas. It is very revealing. Joe shared this image and wrote a different angle on the test Model Y body delivered today at Giga Texas, 14th January 2022. Note, no floor, so structural battery pack body and likely with 4680s, meaning the battery. See my video on YouTube later today. Friends, I will have Joe's YouTube link in the description of this video. So I contacted Joe and asked his opinion on this. I wrote him, so you are saying that since it doesn't have floor, it will use the structural 4680 battery. Is it fair to assume that A, Tesla is test building cars for test purpose to test its systems at Giga Texas and they are with structured structural 4680 batteries and B that Tesla will bring these batteries from the Cato Road facility next to the Fremont factory in California to produce Model Y with 4680 batteries until it starts producing those batteries at Giga Texas. Joe Techmeyer replied and said, yes, it is my understanding Giga Texas is preparing to make Model Ys with structural packs from the beginning and use batteries from Cato Road initially until Giga Texas can make the cells at sufficient volume to take on the load. That makes very good sense and I agree with Joe's reasoning. I asked him if he expected this situation continue until mid-year and around mid-year Giga Texas will take the load in terms of 4680 battery protection pro production. Joe said that is my understanding too. I'm hoping we will get a better understanding of what Tesla intends on the 26th of uh, June for factory status, production, timelines, and etc. So we're all looking forward to January 26th when Elon Musk speaks about this issues and we will have better idea so look for that please if you are here first time subscribe to our channel because we're going to pick our uh, um, put our finger on the pulse of these developments and bring you the latest if you look at our history we bring three to five unique and uh, breaking tesla stories every day in this channel so please subscribe to our channel ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and let me know what do you think about this rare and unique angle suggesting 4680 battery packs in tesla model y and how many 4680 battery packs do you think kato road facility which is not very big in fremont is able to build and supply giga texas until giga texas in mid 2022 is ready to take on the full load with full capacity this is Armin Haryan. Have a great day, friends. See you in my next Tesla report. God bless you and peace be with all of you. Let's move on to our next Tesla story. In this story. report, I'm going to give you exclusive and reliable information about Tesla Giga Texas 4680 battery production's target time frame. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and give us thumbs up if you find this report helpful. You remember that today in the morning and afternoon, I reported a couple of very interesting updates about Tesla Giga Texas, its battery production, its car production, and based on the images and videos provided by Joe Techmeyer, I concluded that Tesla has already started the production at Gigafactory Texas, start the production of Model Y. And I said that based on the images and what we see in the 4680 battery production facility, it looks like things are imminent to get started as a lot of equipment has brought in and the electrodes were already rolling. So I asked Joe 
Techmire, who flies his drone over Gigafactory Texas uh, and has been chronicling Gigafactory Texas from day one, what he thinks based on what he sees about the status of the battery production, 4680 battery production at Gigafactory Texas, the time frame, the dates, and because he has been very good and reliable information. Here's what Joe told me on Twitter. He wrote me uh, saying, I think the target time frame for the 4680 battery cell production start at Tesla Giga Texas is around June or July of this year, but it seems like Tesla is progressing quicker than that. In today's video and images that you have seen, it appears that there are three rows of the 4680 batteries modular production machines, not just the one closest to the windows we see in the images. By the way, you see them in these images on your screen, friends. I think Tesla has to overcome three main parts of the puzzle as it starts the 4680 battery production at Giga Texas, says Joe. The first is production equipment installed, test calibration and certification. The second part of the puzzle is raw material availability. And the third part of the puzzle is trained personnel to work in the battery cell facility at the Gigafactory in Austin. Joe says it seems like all three of this puzzle are under control by Tesla, but he says, I'm waiting to hear from Tesla soon, possibly at the fourth quarter meeting, which I think is going to be January 26, what their status and target dates are now. So we will know more friends on January 26. I think it is January 26 that Tesla is going to announce uh, its uh, numbers on about the fourth quarter. Um, I think I read that today on Tesla Radi. Um, yes, it's January 6th. Musk expected to share product roadmap update. And I think we're also expecting Cybertruck product roadmap update. I will tell you more about that in my next report. Um, but we will look forward to that and uh, we will know where Tesla starts, uh, stands um, in solving the three parts of this puzzle. Production equipment equipment installed, testing, calibration, and certification, raw material availability, and trained personnel to work in the battery cell facility at Gigafactory in Austin. And the target date is June or July, but Tesla is moving quicker. So what do you think, friends? Let me know your thoughts, please, in the comment section below. If you have any ideas, better ideas maybe, please comment below. And if you like this report, please give us thumbs up, like this video, share in social media. I would greatly appreciate, guys. It really helps us. And I'll see you soon in our next report. God bless you. Peace be with all of you and let's move on to our next Tesla The activity story. at Tesla Giga Texas parking lot shows that the production is very imminent. Tesla employee parking lot at Gigafactory Austin is completely packed. If they are not already building cars and hiding them inside, they are very close to starting the production. In fact, according to Dan Ives, well-known analyst and managing director of Wedbush, Tesla's new Gigafactory in Austin, Texas should be set to open in the next 7 to 10 10 days. He sent out the related tweet on January 8, 2022. So at this point, Tesla could be even closer to that goal already. What's arguably more interesting here, at least for investors, is that the sooner Tesla starts Model Y production, the quicker it can ramp up and make a real impact for 2022, says um, Lovett Day and Inside EV's article. Keep in mind that Tesla Cybertruck will follow a successful Model Y production production ramp. So timing is of the essence if we are really going to see the first production of Cybertrucks arrive before the end of the year. Clearly, Ives and his team have been keeping a close eye on Tesla's Giga Texas in order to share details and potential production dates with investors. The fact that paperwork is clearing and the stomping machines appear to have already been tested signals the production is imminent. In fact, we just saw that yesterday another um, Giga casting machine from Hydra came to Gigafactory Texas. Not long ago, we, um, I think I had a report 
with you stating that Tesla production in Texas could start any day. We have also heard that Tesla is planning a big party in Austin, much like the one in Berlin. In addition, some folks have claimed that CEO Elon Musk has a big announcement to share soon. In a related tweet, Sawyer Merritt announced the Tesla Owners Club Austin, another group keeping a very close watch on the happening at Gigafactory Austin, is planning the largest Tesla owner meetup in history. The event coined TeslaCon Texas will happen in early 2022, so no surprise, and coincide with Texas Gigafactory's official opening party probably. Reports from last week pointed out that some areas of Giga Austin are already approved and certified to begin official work and they've been inspected by the country fire marshal as well. Tesla has been finalizing all paperwork to make sure the opening of the Gigafactory to produce electric vehicles Model Y process moves forward without pause. While Tesla hasn't made any official announcements, there are plenty of folks reporting about the factory who seem to have an abundance of inside information. Moreover, several Tesla fans in the area have been flying drones around the property and keeping tabs on the situation as it unfolds. That said, according to Tesla Radi drone operator Jeff Roberts recently got some footage of equipment heading into an area at Giga Texas that's assumed to be related to Cybertruck production. Uh, so friends, let me know your thoughts. Uh, what do you think about this development, about the employee parking lot? Like I said, Tesla employee parking at Gigafactory Texas is completely packed. If they are not already building cars and hiding them inside, they are very close to starting production. Let me know your thoughts, friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla breaking announcement that I'm bringing you every day. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a wonderful day. Give us thumbs up. Please like this video and let's move on to our next Tesla story.